welcome back everyone here we are and uh and the journey continues a lot of stuff going on in the world as it's normal but i just think that things are really accelerating so um and i, I believe all these things happen ultimately for the good for our purification and for our deepening of, of the great journey that we're all on um to become what we are meant to be in the long run. And uh, I think it's a lot longer than it's one little lifetime. So it goes on and on. And a lot of times in our practice, we're, we're called to do, to, to look at really painful things, you know, either things that are cause of sadness or things that, you know, or our issues in the world or things that happened in our childhood or something, a broken relationship or whatever it might be or the existential loneliness or whatever it comes up. And uh, the temptation is to run from that. Is to focus on my breath, you know, whatever it is to get out of there instead of greeting it as a, another, another membrane of purification that we have to cross and to be grateful for it. And, uh, um, it's hard lessons, but with practice and time, we, you know, we begin to accept that and, and go with it. And so there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. A lot of human beings are really in life and death struggles and, and, and different parts are in combat, you know, the authoritarian old paradigm of, you know, the ruler, the Fuhrer, the czar, the Caesar, uh, that is against uh, a very young and nascent democracy. So, and it's playing out in the world. And I think uh, it reflects a lot of where we are at individually and as people. So with all that in mind, we're, we're gonna do a half hour meditation today, which is really great. Um, and it's called Digital Euphoria. And this is a third track and it's, it's a, a half hour track and it is gamma. Okay, so gamma is a real, a real high frequency that has been um, linked to the experience of compassion and also in the ability to process lots of information uh, really quickly and efficiently. So I think it's a real, uh, it's a good, it's a good track, good meditation to to help us uh, accept where we are and deeply feel it in our bodies and our spirits and our hearts and uh, just be with it. And when this stuff comes up at my practices, thank you, teacher. And uh, if you experience just stillness and light and love, that's really good for us too. So it's all good. It's all to be embraced. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's do this thing together.
Okay, welcome. Welcome, we're already here. Welcome to the present. Um, yeah, I hope that was, that was, uh, that was good for everyone. And uh, I'm getting ready in the next few days to fly to Hungary, you know, the, uh, the European IEC, the Integral European Conference that's been going on for a number of years. And it has been on, online for the last couple of years. And this year it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be a mixture of both. So it is certainly worth something uh, for those of you who are intricately informed. And if you, you know, if you can last minute book, book a, uh, a, uh, a plane ride or a train ride wherever you are in the world to, to Hungary and be there would be great. Otherwise, um, tune in online, IEC 2022. And it is, um, you know, it is something. It's where we come together, and, and uh, there's lots of stuff going on in the world right now, and people have different perspectives and see things differently. So it's just important for me to to uh, make sure that I'm where I need to be and doing the right thing. And I really think I am. One of the reasons I'm going is because uh, colleagues that we've been supporting, uh, Ukrainian, are going to be there, and we're going to give a pitch for support for, for the work they're doing and there's so much to be done there's so many refugees and there's so many wounded and there's so many uh just uh, it's just it's just horrible what's going on in hungary and it, you know it's like people are completely innocent they didn't bring it on they weren't a threat the only the only threat they were was they threatened vladimir putin's ambition you know to restore the soviet empire that was their sin. So uh, I've really been called to support them. And we also have a funnel uh, at I Awake where you can give uh, to support the work that's going on. And this, the work that we're, the, the money that we're giving is goes directly to um, Katarina Yasko and her husband Vitas. And they're in Lithuania, Lithuania right near uh, uh, Ukraine near the border and helping people and sending teams back in with with uh, medications and medical supplies and teaching people emergency uh, first aid procedure and just helping people who have nothing who were driven out of their homes to to resettle and to survive this time so um, yeah if you want to you know if you want to get out of your own stuff uh, for a bit try helping other people you know and, and opening your heart and, and reach it out and and doing good and it is um, something I've learned over the years it's always helped me and uh, I've been blessed with with uh, the gift of, of being very sensitive and, and I often go through dark periods where I feel like I'm feeling the pain of the whole world the whole planet at some time so hence I meditate and pray a lot and uh, one of the things that, that, of course, has come out of there is service. And uh, we talk about, we've talked about for years the process of, of uh, waking up, growing up and cleaning up and showing up, waking up spiritually to who and what we are, and, and uh, cleaning up, getting anything out of the way that we need to do, to let go of anything or to, 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 uh, Purify ourselves and, and the spiritual path, as, a, as I've become quite aware, it's a process of constant purification over and over and over again. And uh, we can welcome the hard times in the darkness if we realize that it is, it is just a step toward the light, a step towards uh, a deeper awakening and deeper purpose and deeper connection. And, uh, and then there's the uh, cleaning up. I said that yeah, cleaning up and growing up and showing up in the last part, all of it is just gazing at your navel. If it doesn't lead you to service and what that service is, I don't know. That's, that's between you and, and your soul, you and spirit, you and God to figure out, but it's a really good question to ask. And that is um, the workshop that I'll be giving in, in Hungary is on um, the vision quest, the quest for vision, of course, for purpose and meaning and we and when we when we get that it really helps 
uh, bring a lot of things into focus. And if we haven't quite found that, at least consciously, we're like ships without a rudder or cars without a steering wheel, it's just kind of going all over. But I have found that if you ask the question, if you say, okay, you know, great mystery, whatever you are, and you know, if you don't know, if you're not connected to God or that the G word, you think it's okay. And if you have doubts, that's okay. Just say, I'm not even sure what I'm asking, but I'm asking some higher source than myself. To show me what I'm supposed to be doing with my life, please. And uh, I think give me the courage and strength to do what I'm told to do. So that's that's another lifetime process. So anyway, I'm getting ready to on this, go on this voyage, and I guess I won't be here for the next couple of weeks. Somebody else will be uh, leading the meditation, which is just fine, because these people have been, team have been meditating for a long time together. So anyway. God bless you guys. We love you. And uh, yeah, keep on practicing and keep on doing the work you need to do. Because when we work on ourselves, we're working for everyone and we're all in this together. Um, oh, thank you. God bless.